Hi, my name is Stefan Fellini and this is my Porsche 944 S2 and it is the 1989 model. I've had this car for approximately two years since I got my license. My, my dad bought it from Texas uh, and drove it here and since then it's just been my baby. A couple things I like about this car and definitely the color. The, the red is just a classic Porsche color and it's a classic, uh, classic uh, sports car model and then uh, specifically it's pretty fast. It can handle and because of the lightweight it was um, because it was in 1989 it's pre-regulation so they can really cut down on the weight which makes it a really fun car to just mess around with and take on canyon roads. A couple of modifications that I want to do this car is specifically get a new exhaust, uh, possibly get some new tires because that's obviously important and then because it's a Porsche 944 you can change the engine so we were thinking about dropping in a C7 engine. What's up everybody? This is Stefan. This is Porsche 944 and we're gonna give it a go. That is a light shifter. Mm, yeah. That is, oh, it goes, man, that's really nice though. It is. No, <laughs> honestly, it is. It's very interesting. Yeah. There's a catch, like at the top? Yeah. The clutch? Yeah. It's, oh, it's like mine, but way heavier. Mm -hmm. No, yeah. I. That's what I notice whenever, like every time I've driven a Camaro, it's... Super it's, light. Yeah. Okay. No, this thing engages really good though. Mm -hmm. Like this, it's not. It feels nice. I mean, plus I don't have a ton to compare it to Ooh, because this can I is... actually put this over here? Yeah. Dude, now I can I can now feel it a thousand so times room. better. Oh, oh my yeah. God. Oh man, this thing rides comfy. You can feel everything though. You'll notice that. Really? Yeah, like all the rocks and everything. Like you can feel it. This gearbox it's, is so vague. <laughs> its main torque boost would probably be at like around 3,500 RPM. Oh yeah. That's awesome. It, this, is, this is seriously not like nothing I've ever driven. That's, yeah. that's crazy. It's uh, It feels like it was so quality in 1990, you know? Like this is, it feels better than my Accord. That's an easy car to drive though on this yeah. old Hondas. And then his first gear, if you do want to take it from like a stop, it's it'll jump. It's, okay. So from here it'll, it'll hook. Yeah. Wow, this car feels good. Yeah. <laughs> Just go as fast as you want. All right, we'll see what it does. Here, I'll give him some room. Get your zero to sixty. Man, this thing. Oh man, old cars are the jam, man, because they, they're, they feel way faster than they are. But yeah. that's what you want. That's exactly. And what because you want. it's such a lightweight car. That too. Okay, let's see it. Let me see. All right, let's see what it does. aspirated too that's yeah. always nice no turbos and superchargers the three liter and then um because Safe it's fit. only like around 2700 pounds most likely and then it's zero to 60 is around 5.5 seconds stock seriously yeah that's really quick that's quick for an old especially car. for 1989 seriously. yeah I, I don't, they had that power and technology back then <laughs> dude your tag your tag bounces around yeah that's awesome it's like whoa all right we shifted yeah every right. time that's hilarious dude Oh, dude, nothing's better than actually that's for the motor. I like I, I I have a turbo Camaro, but it's just the leg is to the moon and back. Man. Yeah, it's huge. And here, I mean, it's just so controllable. And yeah. it's, and usually they put a lighter flywheel to non-turbo cars, so you could just. Plus, it's boom. so it's satisfying to do that. Just oh, it's, drop it's, it. It's right there. Yeah. Whenever you want it. So you got two. I can feel that grip in the back. Yeah. You got, yeah. You have uh, one size uh, higher than me in the back, 255s and 205 up front, mm -hmm. which is why it feels really, really nice. I mean, it's funny, it feels so light in the front and I feel like the back is just like, ugh, <laughs> it's tanked down. Yeah, that's, that's the stick that you need for your GoPro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see if I can figure that one out. <laughs> this shifter is so interesting. 
like when I hear people talk about putting a short throw shifter in modern cars, I'm like, dude, it's already a short throw. Yeah. Like, like, this is like, I, I, it's pretty necessary. And honestly, for, for this year, this is actually really quiet for like this, yeah. uh, for 1990. For the interior, Dude, yeah. you get in my Honda, isolation. it's the loudest thing in the world. You can't talk on the phone in that car. You just can't. It's so loud. This is pretty refined for this year. Mm. 89, man. But um, compared to like, yeah, a modern Camaro well, Mustang, it's, I mean, it's, it's louder than that. Also, price difference. This car was around like, when it came out, probably 50 to 60 grand, while the Honda Accord is probably a little cheaper. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. you're going to get a nicer isolation. Yeah. Most likely. Definitely. If they had no isolation in, in anywhere in, or any of the padding, this thing could probably be like Miata weight. Yeah. Because they're good. Porsche's good at keeping their weight down, too. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's what they like their horsepower on, like even modern Porsches. Hey, hold on. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, their horsepower on even modern Porsches aren't as high. Like, of course, they're still packing heat, but I mean, like, comparatively to other cars, like a Hellcat. Uh, like yeah. 707. Well, there's the new, uh, what's it called? The GT2 RS? Yeah. Oh man, that thing's probably fast as hell. Yeah, but, but no like, one's gonna it's, own it. It's horsepower, um, like for a lot of those cars just aren't as high yet it still can go just as fast because yes. of the like Porsche technology of like saving so much weight and then just, I don't know what they do. There's just some something that they can get the same amount of speed out of a lower amount of horsepower. Seriously. Oh, this steering rack is this hydraulic yeah okay i'm like this feels almost like a manual steering rack when you're at a dead stop mm. this is it's really nice this i is... like the feeling of everything in this car it's just so rugged yet it's like it's precise it's really good it's yeah. seriously good okay i'm getting used to that first gear finally <laughs> you do have a lot of room to play with it doesn't seem like six and a half is a lot but when you're used to your power going away at 55 like yeah. it, it feels like a lot i know it's not eight grand but yeah. To me, this is a lot of power to play with. A lot of room, anyway, that you make torque. Okay, no, yeah, once you, oh yeah, this is a pretty easy car to drive once you know mm. what it's supposed to do. Yeah, like, it's not a 918 with a 9,000 RPM um, red line, but it's still like, it feels like you have a lot of, a lot of time and power in between the red line and when you're starting, so. Ooh, got, got a, uh, over there for that fifth. Oh yeah, the fifth one is semi-weird. The yeah. one, two, three, and four, they all feel really... They're, they're like not too long, but yeah. that one feels like... The fifth one, you that's have to... That's almost 70s The fifth one, you really have to put it in, yeah. Yeah. Man, this is... This is really fun, man. This, uh... I, I like, you know, a modern car like my Camaro, because, like, I, it's very modifiable. I mean, yeah. I could I could run power to the moon in that differential and axle, because, it, you know, it's, it has higher ups that can do it. Yeah. But, uh... Man, if you're if you just want to have a good time and just get a you know a cheaper car that's fun you don't have to spend 30 grand or yeah up, dude. you really like, don't this car is so fun it's i don't want to say go-karty like it, it honestly doesn't feel as light as i thought it was going to it feels it, it feels like my car's weight actually when as i think about it it's probably due to the suspension yeah um it's it's looser than mine by a good amount yeah no porsches like to be higher up for sure yeah no and they're happy higher up Oh man, that is uh, the sun right there. <laughs> okay, yeah. It's chill. I mean, see, if you wanted to, you could change, move this, and then it, it wouldn't block your head. But yeah, let's see if that. Let's see if that works. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, no it works. Okay. Cool. It's only when it's up that it's like. Yeah. You know, higher. See, I mean, you're a little bit taller than me. I'm only like six foot, so in this car, it's kind of the perfect height. I'm like right up, but I still have like a little bit of room. Yeah. But you definitely can't be a basketball player. <laughs> like, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I know. That, no, this uh, this um, interior it has a kind of a Miata ness to it. The actual size of it. Yeah. This interior is smaller than I thought it was gonna be, but it's 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 pretty proper. It's nice because you feel nice and compact. And, yeah. Like you don't have to control this big old beast. You're on a Hellcat trying to hit corners. Oh yeah. So this car has like a tiny learning curve to it. Like mm. it's it's not the easiest to learn right off the bat, but it's by far, it's, it's easier than my car, yeah. for sure. It's, it's 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 friendly. It is friendly, you just have to know where things are, kind of. Mm -hmm. The clutch has a certain feel, the, this shifter, it's nice. Yeah, it's nice when you know yeah. how to use it. It's just very different from modern cars. Yeah. See, so already like 70, no. uh... Yeah, no, this thing's not slow at all. My, uh, my stock 0-60 to 
Especially in this light of a car, it's just gonna, it's gonna be gone. <laughs> Sorry, I'm like ripping your car right No, have fun. But this, I, this, this is what one? I do. Yeah, it feels just it's like the, my Camaro acceleration. It's nice and smooth. Yeah, and it's the point of having one of these cars. This is the reason that we bought this car was so that we just have something that's just fun to just throw around and and really enjoy. Yeah. No. This is a car that you're meant to enjoy. It's not a car that you take out just for like drives across the country yeah, dude, this is a driver's car and you can you can do a lot of stuff with it too you got a hatch mm -hmm. it's not like it's, it's so not, much room the visibility yeah it's not like miata impractical where yeah. you can fit two two milk gallons and you're done <laughs> oh man that was that was really cool dude yeah i hope you enjoyed it thanks man yeah. <laughs> <laughs> of course. got the one arm with the camera there yeah no. <laughs> okay i think that's about it nice.